Good morning, Dana here. Um, one of the things that I've been recognizing as we've been going through this time together is that um, in the church calendar year, there is this interesting habit that we have as a church community or church communities, followers of Christ. Um, it's that we always spend time preparing and waiting before we celebrate, before we engage in a large way, before we celebrate and feast. Like so, for instance, in Advent, we have a period of time where we wait, four weeks where we wait, and then and we look backwards and we look forward and we prepare for Christ's arrival. And then we celebrate that hardcore for 12 full days if you follow the church calendar, and you party and you feast for 12 full days, and then you go back to your ordinary life. The same is true of Lent. We fast, we um, prepare, we take stock of our lives during that 40 day window called Lent. And then once we have done that, once we have looked death in the face, once we've looked our own selfishness and sin in the face, then um, all of a sudden there's these, the Holy Week and for 50 days we're supposed to celebrate Easter of feasting and of celebrating and of great joy. And as we have heard this um, past week, uh, our economy, our businesses, our lives are going to be slowly opening up again. And I'm wondering at the wisdom of the church calendar, as we begin to look forward to um, opening up, I wonder if it might be wise of us to spend some time preparing ourselves for that in a similar way to the ways in which we have um, practiced that in Advent and Lent. So maybe some questions worth considering would be, what's one thing you hope remains after this crisis? I know that I've heard from a number of you who have said that you have really appreciated being able to have some time to connect with people that you have loved in the past but haven't had time to do. Others of you have said that you've really enjoyed having lengthy time to sit and have dinner and conversation with your kids. Others of you have um, really enjoyed some quiet and some self-reflection. And so what is one thing that you hope remains after this crisis? And how will you intentionally um, move that into this next season? Maybe another question is, what's something you've learned during this crisis that you would have never expected? Something that you want to carry within you as you move forward. Um, for instance, I have learned how to ask for help and to receive help, to be vulnerable in that way, um, and to receive that love and gift of other people. Um, and that's something new for me that I want to carry forward. Is there something for you? Maybe it's about how resilient you are or the um, ways that you've learned how to process your anxiety. Um, and then also, what are things that you intentionally want to bring back into your life? How do you want to celebrate this opening up? Um, and to do it intentionally. It's so easy for our time to be filled or for our lives to become ramped up suddenly. And even though this opening will be slow, that's a question is what is it as we look forward um, that we want to intentionally add? And also how do we want to celebrate? Because we have gone through a time of withdrawal, so now how do we want to celebrate? So I encourage you to spend some time reflecting before we get to and preparing before we get to the celebration. Bye-bye.